Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? I can't believe what an amazing June we've been having. We have had a couple of days that have been 99, 100. I think we hit 100 once, and I believe we have it forecasted in just over a week, we will be at 101 and 102. Normally, we've had several days in the hundreds by now, so I'm really enjoying this cooler weather. Today, I am replacing some lantana that we lost over the winter due to all the water that was right here. And I'll go over that when I'm finished planting. And I'm also adding some powwow wild berry echinacea, also known as coneflower. And I've never planted that before. And I'm gonna plant that just behind the rock and fuchsia salvia. I'll go over all the details as soon as I get them in the ground. probably our wettest on record. This area right here just stayed perpetually wet. Um, it kind of slopes down and then it comes back up and that's just how we did the grade on the flower bed. It's, I'm sure that's something we could fix. We just don't get rain here ever. <laughs> and what happened, Lantana is one of the last things to break dormancy. And I think I had three of them and they were in different spots here and they just weren't breaking dormancy. I think they were the older ones. These three right here are relatively new. The ones that were just in front of it were probably hmm, maybe five years old. Um, I'm not sure. And they probably just, their roots got too wet and stayed wet and never had a chance to dry out because these are drought tolerant plants. The bandana pink is my favorite. It is zone nine to 11 only. It grows 16 inches, I think tall and wide is what the tag says. But my experience is they can get easily up to above my knee. I'm almost 5'9". So they can get pretty tall. And what happens is, I know it looks like there's a lot of dead space right here. By the time these are at their full maturity, they're almost pushing the lantana over probably need to divide those this fall or next spring I should say and the lantana is actually begins to touch the agapanthus so what happens is you don't even see any dirt because that's how huge the lantana grows here for us uh, this area faces south so it gets hit by sun all day long um, so I landed up putting one on the between the uh, hydrangeas to which look they're doing so well the, um, I'm not sure if the camera picks up, but the hydrangeas are doing so well since I planted them about a week ago. I put one bandana pink on the other side of the fountain grass and then one right here just behind me. And we're gonna see how that works. Uh, we're gonna see if the fountain grass overshadows them and it very well might. Um, but that's what we added here. To the front, that's a whole nother story. I planted, I believe, five wild berry coneflower just behind the rock and fuchsia salvia. Typically, this will, would be covered by the salvia. Quick story, when we did the Avondale, I dug up one of the salvias just behind it and threw it off to the side here. I said, oh, they all died. Um, this, this area where the dianthus is and just shy of the salvia, this is where it stayed the wettest. I know it doesn't look by our soil, but we're very high pH. And none of these were breaking dormancy. And I just hadn't gotten around to digging them out. I thought, nope, they're gone. They're not gonna live. Um, 
because the ones in our back are already up to my mid thigh. So I know they get rather tall. I'm not sure the zone, what zone Rockenfuchsia salvia is. However, if you're wondering if they can take a lot of water, I would say this is proof positive or a good example of, I should have left that one in the ground or I should have at least tried to replant it because they all have broken dormancy. Now this one, these two off to the side over on this side on the other side of the legustrum, these are growing a little bit more vigorous and I think that's because by the time the sun shifts around, these get hit harder than these right here. However, they've all started pushing growth. I don't know if they will cover the coneflower. Uh, typically they normally would, but just in case, that's why I wanted to plant the coneflower behind it. If they don't push very much growth, then hopefully these will get a little bit taller. These coneflower are zone four to nine, and they can grow up to 24 inches tall and wide. So we will see how the summer plays out when it reaches 105, possibly 110, um, if these get bigger. Uh, but I am gonna keep them in the ground and I'm glad I didn't dig them out. I still need to run drip to the echinacea and clean this all up. And as soon as I do that, I'll make sure I show you a photo of what everything looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.